Hey everyone, Shane here with ROA Off-Road. We are about 9,500 feet in elevation in the beautiful Colorado. We're actually at the Serendipity Ranch. Shout out to uh, one of our roamers, Bart Holden Cat. They've facilitated us to be able to come out to Colorado. And we have people from all over the country, as far as Florida and California, we've all come out here and roamer adventure, having a great time. and. I, I'm, I've been trying to convince people to come and sit down with me and chat for a little bit and, and speak your mind and tell everybody yeah. about what's, what's happening and how you're, how you're enjoying. We're way and too busy to do that. We're, so. way, we're too busy having fun. <laughs> That's now, right. I'm actually sitting here with, introduce yourself, where you're from. I'm John Romer from uh, Nevada and we've got an Explorer uh, X22 that we love and been using for about a year now and uh, made a lot of changes to it over the, the last year and so it's kind of fun. and. Bartold and I are good friends, and this is a wonderful experience to come back to his ranch once again and hang yeah. out. You know? and, and you're you're actually one of the original roamers here at ROA, right? Well, yeah. Let's see. I've had that. Uh, I've been a roamer since. Uh, oh, it's been a little while. I think it's been about 72 years now. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We've not been around that long. You well, you may have misspelled it, but uh, yeah, I've been around a while. So it's John. Isn't it Romer? No, no, no. It's John Romer. The same as your Romer <laughs> Adventures, except you. It's, except I have the correct spelling. But other yeah, than that, I, yeah, he keeps on telling me. He's always like, Shane, when are you going to start correcting your Romers, you know, to the right spelling? Yeah, yeah. R O E. Yeah. M E R. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, R O A, M E R. <clears throat> Maybe someday we'll figure it out. I'm not very smart, so I, I'm not very good at spelling. You <laughs> yeah, know, that's, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, what do you, you've actually been on a bunch of these adventures. Our very first one we ever did, and yeah, we you're to, on the current one. Yeah, we went to Seven Mile Rim with our uh, HQ-19. Yeah. And we went to uh, Romerland. For the rally? For the rally last year. And then we went to Baja. Been in Mexico, yeah. yeah. That was really fun. And here we are at Serendipity Ranch. This is great. Finally stopped working on that trailer so much, and we can actually get going now. <laughs> well, should we do a walk around later? Would you be yeah. okay with that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because you've done a lot of cool mods, I and I think people would love to see. A, we could throw that on the Facebook group because everybody, you're, you, you get bits and pieces, but I think it'd be fun to do an actual. Yeah, there's there's a lot full. of mods. There's about almost 50 mods that I've done to it. Wow. And uh, but the primary ones are completely new solar system and uh, <clears throat> look hitch on the front and a window in the back and a new uh, air conditioner in the back wall and uh, uh, remodeled the kitchen and I've added a lot of little things here and there to it and uh, so it's just getting better and better and now as soon as <clears throat> once it gets to its per, you know its best state then you're going to get a roamer one. Oh yeah we can have <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just getting ready to get it something. Only out. if we spell it right, right? <laughs> I can always what, change it. I'll just put what, it out. I'll just what, cross it out. Cross out the A and put an E or something. That's right. Something like that. Yeah. Right. So what's? Tell me what your experience, John. I mean, I, we know each other pretty well because we've been on a lot of trips together. But what's your experience working with ROA RVs of America versus other places and your overall thought? Well, it's been great. And and when I first ordered my trailer, I didn't know you obviously and. And uh, while we were waiting for it to come in, we became friends. We had a lot of time to talk and stuff. And uh, over time, we became really good friends before the trailer came in. And then when we picked it up, it was very nice. And you know, there's been, I think only one thing that, that I had to get, and that was a new water pump. And I had the thing the second day from you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I mean, and that was, and we lived 600 miles away from you. And we had it the second day. And that was the only warranty issue that we've had. And it was just as smooth as can be. And so I'm, I'm really grateful about that, really happy about that, you know? Thank you, yeah. thank you. We went to the Explorer <clears throat> X22 and it just seems perfect. It's, it's lighter weight and it's uh, got enough of everything and it just seems like it's great, so. Uh, Not without its quality issues, of course, oh, like anything. Things. Yeah, it has things, but you know, that they're overlooked and they don't really stop you from doing anything. Yeah. So, and I've done a lot of work on it, but it was all optional. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's always. I mean, I just like to upgrade things and change things and redesign things. And yeah. So it's not because there, there was failures in the trailer at all. Yeah. So well, we really like this one. You, you, you inspire. I think you inspire a lot of people to upgrade and change and improve their product. And 
which I think that's one of the reasons why we sync up is because our mission is to change and improve everything we're doing at ROA. Yeah. Because we make mistakes and we, you know, don't always do well, things the, perfectly, but you, you improve it and make it better, right? Right, right. Well, the whole thing is now that trailers are becoming much more advanced than they were, electrical systems are much more advanced, and it's not just camping anymore. And it's, the whole industry has attracted a lot of people that never had one before. And we're so. Filming. <laughs> um, in the process, we're, we're we are at a, a we are at a Romer adventure. So there are people talking and <laughs> yeah, walking right. around, and That's right. they're not even for sure if we're filming. But <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so anyway, the systems have gotten more complicated, and solar is really becoming a dominant item on trailers. A really important item because you, by the time you get Wi-Fi system and air conditioning, and you know, and on and on and on, it, you just need more and more power. And so it's important, I think, for people to really understand the systems the best they can. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy doing is playing with the systems and understand how they work and trying to help people fix theirs or understand how they work. And it, I just, it's fun to do that. And, yeah, and for upgrade sure. Upgrade them and all that sort of thing. And you're and you're uh, you're on the Facebook group. We have the exclusive <coughs> Roamer community group. You have the X22 Explore yeah, group. Yeah, X22. Uh, uh, trailer community yeah x22, x22 trailer, trailer community, community yeah, or right. the exclusive roamer uh community yeah those two and those and they, you're they on run, there helping they run parallel those two sites and yeah and uh, <clears throat> it's all about camping and how do you fix things and or somebody's out in the field and they, something's not working they get a hold of us and try to figure it out and I, I hear your name more frequently than anybody <laughs> else's name, just on YouTube, on Facebook, on forums. I've seen you on the forums, people talking about you, because you're, you're really generous with your, your knowledge <laughs> and, and your willingness to help people. Well, that's nice, thank and, you. And I think, <clears throat> I think that's, that's what we want to do too here at ROA. And I, I believe that's probably why we sync up and we've hit it off is because we both have those similar values, right? Yeah, that's it's right. A, it's all about people in the end, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. And 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 also not not because of that, but you know, you're in a wonderful location too because we like to go east from where we are and and Utah is a wonderland for camping. And so um, I, I really like Romer land and I like all the parks around around the area and uh, and we we go through there deliberately on our way to other places once, you know. And so it just seems like it works really well and it's yeah. fun to stop by. I mean, we'll stop by and camp in your parking lot for a day or two, you know, yeah. on the way through and maybe bring you something or you bring us something or whatever it is and it, it really works out. Well, and last time, I think last time you were there, there yeah. must have been like four or five people all camping there the same night. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, we had to wait for you guys to close so we could get on with it. You know? <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> shut the gates and then you guys were all <laughs> right. having, we had campfires going and <laughs> yeah. right at the right at the facility, yeah. which is fun. Yeah. Eventually, I want to have a full on campground mm -hmm. attached to ROA where, you know, people come in from to, for pickups, people tra just like what you're doing, mm -hmm. a little bit nicer than just a parking lot. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah, have some yeah. like yeah. trees and, uh, <laughs> you know, some facilities. Well, and that that's another, brings up another subject that, that that kind of camping is really what we like to do. And so I don't go to organized campgrounds with hookups. I yeah. go, we go to places like Serendipity or we go to Romerland or we go to you know truck stops on the way or rest areas. We even have rest areas marked on the map that are so nice that they're they're really parks in themselves. Yeah. And, but mainly, and, and Nevada especially is, is uh, something like 90% BLM land. So we can camp over an unlimited amount oh, yeah. of area. And that's what this trailer is all about and why I set it up the way I did because we don't hook up at all. We never plug in. Yeah, we, it, We're completely off grid and we run the air conditioner and whatever, you know. It's, yeah. And so that's really been a nice, kind of a plateau to get to, I guess. This is a good format for sharing information like that. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we're on the Facebook page and everything, but it scrolls along and then people don't see things that came up a few weeks back and it's yeah. hard to get back and find that stuff. Well, and but I think if, if you archive it in a, in a video, video. Then, yeah, yeah, then yeah. it'll be there. Well, and I think it's also good for everybody here. You know, like that's what one of the neat things about the adventures is you get to poke your head in people's trailers and, yeah. and see what they've done. And, yeah. you know, everybody can go and just ooh and ah over Bart holds electrical system because it's yeah. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right. We each have our own specialties. Yeah, you know, we're we're a little bit better than than other things at, and Bart hold is particularly that way with electrical, and and so he's my go-to every time I have an electrical question. I ask him about it, but it is interesting that 
you know, here we are with the group and, and we all go around and look at each other's trailers and help with problems and identify why the batteries are dead or whatever's going on. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. If, if you need any help with crazy <clears throat> driving, I can do that. Oh, I'm good at good donuts and uh, <laughs> and uh, drifting. I saw some of that and, in Baja, I think. Did you see some of that? Correctly. That's 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 my skill. I'm actually, I'm going to a racing school next month, actually, well, yeah, just yeah. for a day. Yeah. Going to go with a professional driver. He'll teach me how to do it even better. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, I'll drive you crazy any yeah. day. Uh, or, I mean, uh, teach you how to drive crazy. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, thank you, John. It's it's a pleasure. I feel I feel honored to actually have you part of the community, well, honestly. Thank you. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to be here and to be invited to come, and I'm thank you for that. You're and, always... You're and, always uh, Thanks to Bartold for all of this again, and, and uh, you know, this has just, just been a fun trip. Yeah, many more adventures to come, yeah, right? Yeah, many more adventures to you come. You know, I, I was just thinking to myself, I was like, you know, we could just be a transactional business and just have people come and buy and leave, and it just sounds so boring and lame. I'd rather do this. I'd rather be camping in Colorado at 9,500 feet with amazing well, people, right? Yeah, let me share one one story about that with you, that you, I heard you, overheard you talking about the other day, and that was a really interesting point of view about it, amongst many other that, you know, make me uh, respect you and admire you. But when you told your group to uh, not sell a trailer to anybody that you didn't want to go camping with, <laughs> it's like, wow, <laughs> you know, this is not simply just a, a Walmart kind of a deal, you know, it's, 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 there's much more to it than that, which I've seen all along, but there again, I, I see it again, you know, and it's really, that's right, because we come out here with all these folks and, you know, we become lifetime friends and uh, have a lot of fun together and it's easy and, and uh, just work somehow. And everybody, everybody's pretty cool too, huh? Yeah. Cool enough to go around a campfire. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, thank you, John. You're welcome. Uh, thank it's you. It's a pleasure always. <laughs> so, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.